Hi everyone. So this morning we were at Golf Dunkirk. Uh, really the only golf course in Dunkirk, France. And uh, let me give you a few sights and sounds, what the golf course looks like, how it plays. Uh, before we get started, I'm at the first tee two times in about 10 minutes. Uh, I have my waterproof boots on today. Even in the summertime with no rain, it is always wet. Uh, so if you have shoes that are not waterproof, I strongly suggest that you get some that are before playing here. Uh, in the winter time, it's always very muddy. Um, and uh, it's a walker's course. There are a few holes that you have to take a long trek between holes. Um, but pretty much everyone here walks. Most people have push carts. Uh, I, I carry my bag. I have a, a stand bag, but it's light enough. It's not an issue. Um, so anyway, we'll get started here in a few minutes. So this is the first hole, team ground. You can see 18 fairway coming up over on the right. There's a par three course over on the left. I'm playing the 18 holes uh, Vauban course today. Uh, straightforward par five. There's a creek that runs through the fairway. It's not really reachable from the tees. I'm playing from the yellow tees. Uh, there's water right of the green and uh, a canal behind the green. So the second shot or third shot into the green is the most important one on this hole. The first shot is plenty wide enough. Just stay out of the trees on the left and you'll be fine. So here's a look at the green. You can see the water right. Sand trap and a mess behind it. I just did my third shot. I'm on the green about, I don't know, 30 feet for birdie. We'll see what happens. So here's the green. Falls a little bit back to front. Gonna have probably a little bit left to right in this putt. Let's give it a good run, just for birdie. So this is the second hole. Short dog leg left. Trees on the right, trees on the left, water on the left. I hit my drive into the trees on the right. Hopefully I can find it. I ended up three putting for bogey on that first hole. Hopefully this one turns out a little better. So I pushed my shot over the trees to the right. See the lie that I have here in the rough? It's gonna be nasty. Got about a hundred yards to the flag. Give it a good strike. The green is definitely elevated. Ended up hitting a nine iron from 130. I think it rolled just onto the front. Let's see what we have for butt for birdie. So I made my two putt par. Walking over the third hole now. Third hole is a short par three. Guarded by the green's guarded by some trees on the right. Uh, it's usually a pitching wedge or a gap wedge. If the wind kicks up, it can be more, but there's hardly any wind out here today. Flag's on the left side. You got a clean shot at it. It's a nice looking little part three, framed by the trees. You don't want to go long. Uh, it's downhill into those bushes behind the green, marked with a red line. All right, let's put a good swing on so it. So my tee shot caught the edge of these trees, hit this edge and rolled up onto the green. So again, I have about, uh, I don't know, 25 feet for birdie. So I did make my two putt par. And uh, this is par five, number four. Uh, there's a an aiming guide, a post out there. That's kind of your target line. They try to do that on these blind tee shots. This is a pretty par five as you approach the green off. Take another video as we get it close. Okay. Here's a nice view. You can see the, uh, I think it's the 14th hole over there. There are a lot of elevation changes. You get some pretty views. See the farmland in the distance. So I hit my drive into the rough. Had to punch out with a four hybrid. Got about a hundred yards. You see the, the flag up there. There's a big ravine in front of the green. Uh, kind of a bailout area to the right. Don't want to go long. You don't want to be short. You got to hit it on the green. Try to hit it close and see if I can make a putt. So here you can see the bailout area to the right. Hit my gap wedge a little bit thin. I think I went just over the back. Let's 
honestly. So I ended up three putting from the back fringe. I got another bogey. It's okay. Give you guys a shot of the next hole. It's a pretty par four. Hold on. Here's a par four. Water to the right's not really in play unless you're playing from the white tees and you shouldn't be. Dog leg right. If you hit it long, you've got to stay to the right, hit some sort of a fade. Um, otherwise, you end up in the rough on the left. There's a kind of a ravine up there. Green is very elevated, tough to hit and, and hold uh, unless you're coming in with a nine iron or less. It's a good one. So this is a cool look to the green. Several tiers going up. Uh, actually topped my drive, barely made it into the very front edge of the fairway, hit 230 yards. Coming in, hit a three wood to the uh, second tier there in front of the green. I have to make a good chip, make a putt to save far. So I made a good chip, ended up two putting for bogey. Now we're on uh, hole number six, short par four. It is reachable, but it's not advised to go for the green. The, the crowning around the green deflects any ball that lands there. So if you hit it even straight at the flag, there's a very good chance it's gonna go into the water right of the green, which you can't see. Um, and dead straight, you don't wanna be there, it's the rough. So for me, I usually hit a five iron or six iron, get myself a wedge in from, for my second. All right, so here's my ball. You can see a six iron keeps me short of this little ridge. Five iron, so often I get right on, on top of it. And there's a the green. Just got a little flip wedge and a putt. Check my distance and try to knock it close. All right, so here's what I got left for birdie. Got a nice little pitch from 80 yards. Try to give it a good run. Hopefully knock it in. So I'm two putted for par. And now we're on the par three. This is one of the highest le levels of the course. You can see uh, all around the layout, the terrain. Uh, it's, it's really pretty. Um, this this hole is 130 yards today, so I hit a nine iron. There's hardly any wind. So this is a, definitely a green light. Nothing in front of the, the green. There's really no bunkers other than way right. So right at the flag. Try to hit it close. So here's what I have for my birdie. Pull it a little bit. Make sure we at least get a two putt out of this. All right, so I've made my two putt par. This hole, um, it's a little deceptive. You think you want to go left of that bunker, but everything kicks left. So if you hit a drive with any speed, you're going to be in the in the in the red area, the stakes uh, staked off area. So you want to go right over that bunker if you can. If you're going to be short, might as well play well short because um, you you just anything strong to the to the left of that bunker is going to go into the red sticks so a little bit of helping wind today it should be no trouble carrying the bunker so i did exactly what i said not to do hit it towards the bunker but it had a little draw on it landed a little bit left of the bunker kicked left and uh ran into the uh the hazard up there we'll see if it's playable or not i don't know i think i'm gonna have to take a drop just barely stood out of the, the hazard Caught up in this little fringe of rough. Uh, I've got about 115 yards of the flag, so I should be able to get it out of there. It'd be tough to stop it on the green, but I'll give it my best go. So I got lucky, I topped the ball and it rolled up here next to the green. So I have a putt up birdie. All right, so here's the tee shot on the ninth hole. It's a dog leg left par five. Uh, you see that aiming uh, rod? You, you, you want to hit right there with the draw if you hit it long, because otherwise you'll be in the trees. But you can't go too far left, because these trees on the left-hand side will knock your ball straight down. You'll be in the hazard. So it's a pretty straight driving hole, and you need to be able to hit a draw to get it a long way. If you're a long hitter and you can't hit a draw, better off hitting a three-wood. Here you can see the view from the ladies' tees, what I'm talking about. Dog leg left. So I hit a pretty good drive. I should be down there in the fairway. Take a look and see. Here you can see the landing area. So I hit a draw, started it right at the trees. It hit this down slope and kicked forward. You can see it up there, it perfectly placed in the fairway. Um, if you hit it straight, you don't get the downhill roll as much. You can end up in the trees or blocked by the trees. So that's why you have to hit a draw 
Otherwise, it's better to lay up short. You're not going to be going at the green in two. I think I have a chance to hit the green in two. We'll get the yardage here in a minute. All right, so here we see the layout for the second shot. Got a nice opening to the green. There's a sand bunker that runs down the right-hand side of the fairway. And then obviously the water to the right, trees to the left. Uh, looks like I'm about 210 yards. I'll shoot it and uh, give it a good swing. But hit a nice shot. Faded it towards the flag, overcooked it just a little bit, hit in front of the green and kicked right. So I think I'm in the rough up there, right of the green. Try to knock it close and make a birdie putt. Hopefully it didn't get all the way to the, the thrushes. We'll see what kind of lie I have. So here's my ball, right on the edge of this nonsense. And there's the flag. I could take a drop, but I think I can get a club on it, try to knock it up there somewhere on the green. Give it my best effort, see what happens. Turns out the decision to try to hit the ball out of the hazard was not a good one. I topped it, just hit it in the mud, had to take a drop anyway. Knocked it on the green, two putted for double bogey seven. 160 yards, pretty flat hole. Water right, water left, bunker in front. A little bit of wind against, not too much. I think a six iron should get us there. So here's my ball. Missed it a little bit, left it out to the right. You see the terrain here. That was that par five we just played. It's all the water. And then the par three with the bunker. Here's the tee shot on number 11. Uh, I ended up making a bogey on 10. Hit a good chip, a decent putt, just missed the left edge. Tapped in for bogey. There's an aiming uh, guide up there. That's, that's exactly where you want to be left of that. Uh, there's bunkers and some mounds on the left-hand side, so you really don't want to be too far left. You can go right at those trees. Uh, it's pretty hard to reach them, so that's my line pretty much between the trees and that, that aiming rod. So uh, we'll give it a good hit and see where we end up. Hit a good tee shot here. Got about 100 yards in. In a second. See if you can hit it close. So I ended up, uh, well, let me give you a quick view of the green. The bunker's long right short all on this side the left side is a little bit of a hazard over there ended up hitting the right edge of the green and uh, making my two putts for a par next hole is a fairly long par three flags in the front today which is good because uh, when it's back it's really difficult it's a big uh, elevation change from front to back and if you carry it all the way to the back it rolls over and there's uh, out of bounds long uh, but the front pin placement is probably about a seven iron maybe a six iron uh, and you got a backstop, so definitely gettable today. A little bunker on the right doesn't really come into play. The thing, the hardest part about this is the way that the tee box is. It really messes with your alignment. So you really got to take time to make sure you're, you're set up correctly to give yourself the best shot of hitting it on the green. To give you some indication of just how much slope is in this green. Uh, I pulled my tee shot just a little bit to the left. But it's basically on a side hill lie. My playing partner hit it up on the top of the hill, so he's going to have a very, very fast putt. It's going to be hard to keep it. Putt flag. We'll see if we can get up and in for a par. All right, so here's number 13. It's a long par four. Straight uphill. There's more tiered plateaus as you approach the, the green. you got to hit a long drive to have a chance here. Usually I end up with something like a four hybrid from my second. I ended up... Uh, Misreading my first putt and uh, got a bogey on that par three. Here you can see the uh, plateaus so come up closer to the green. I had about 180 yards for my second. Get a pretty good four hybrid. I think it's up there close to the green, maybe on. We'll see in a minute. So I made a good up and down for par on that par four. I was just off the green. Hit it chipped about two feet. Made part. Uh, next we have hole 14, it's a par five. In my opinion, it's the prettiest uh, teeing off area on the course. It's elevated. Today we're into the wind and you can feel it when you're up this high. You've got, uh, here, get around so you can see, you've got water, right? Uh, a bunch of crap to the left. There's a sand island out there in the middle of that lake. Uh, a perfect line just gets you over that cart path anywhere in that uh, fairway. 
if you get up far enough and far enough to the right, you can uh, you can attack this green in two. I don't think it's going to be possible today with a little bit of wind in our face. But uh, as you can see at the very end, the hole turns back to the left. So for your second shot, if you're trying to get to the green, you got to hit a draw. Yeah, and it really is a beautiful day today. Wind's probably eight miles an hour in our face. All right, let's see the good one. All right, so here you can see the uh, the tiering in the fairway. I carried it just over, just on the edge of this little cart path. I've got probably 230 yards to the green. I'll probably give it a go. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot it and see if it's, if it's doable or not. All right, so here's where my second ended up. Probably 30 yards to the flag. Let's see if I can knock it close. Get out of this with at least one birdie today would be nice. All right, here we go. So this is what I have left for my birdie. Had a good chip. I almost went in for eagle. Let's try to knock it. So I made the tap in for birdie, finally. Got a birdie. This is a little walk through the woods to the par three. Give you an idea of some of the nature you're going to see around here. There's a couple holes that have good 10 minute walks between them. This is one of those. They uh, changed the course layout, added some holes and took the front nine and made it into its its own little nine hole course. So the layout is a little wonky, um, but it works. All right, so here's the par three. This is the hardest par three on the course. You can see water left. Uh, there's a false front. Uh, it's 175 yards today, playing a little bit shorter than normal. Uh, so I wanna hit a five iron and try to keep it on the green. Here you can see the plateaus tearing up. This is why the course has the name Vauban. These little uh, plateaus are, were fortifications when this was, uh, I guess, an area they were defending in one of the wars. I hit my tee shot a little bit right. It's right on the edge of the green. Got a good chance at a birdie. All right, so here's the putt I have for birdie. Pretty straight, actually. Yeah, try to knock it in. Make it to it All right, so here we are on 15 or 16. Uh, the tee shot is blind. It, it, it's very elevated. There's a, a marking uh, stake, black and white, up there. That's how you pick your line. You don't want to go too far right because it... It falls off, the fairway falls off to the right pretty quickly. Uh, it's pretty easy to be in, end up in the, in the hazard with just a little bit of a fade and a shot that's not quite so well struck. So it's better to stay right at the, right at the, uh, the guide post or even a little bit left of that. It's a par five. Uh, not really reachable in two. I'll, I'll show you when we get up to the second shot what it looks like up there. So here's the landing area up at the top of the hill. Pushed my tee shot a little bit right, but it's still in the fairway. There's, uh, you can see how it falls off towards the, uh, the hazard. If you hit it too far to the right, you can catch that hill and kick right. And then if you hit it really long to the right, there's a bunker. Again, there's a aiming post because it's hard to see what's up ahead. Um, you don't want to go too far left. You get stuck next to those trees up there. And then the green, you can see the flag off in the distance there. So it's technically, I don't know, it might be technically reachable, but there's a, a big drop off right before the green. So if you go for it, it's better to stay to the left of the green. I'm going to measure the distance, see how far we have. I have a little helping wind, so I might hit a three wood up there to the left of the green. We'll see. So here's the second landing area. You see the green over there on the right. If you go for this green and just short, you're in big trouble. I aimed left with my three wood and pulled it a little bit. I think I'm over here in the rough by the uh, cart path. Hopefully I can hit it on and have a putt at a birdie. Let's see what I got. Oh, so here's my, my ball. There's the green. This is gonna be tricky. Pretty pleased with the result. Hacked it out with a sand wedge from uh, 85 yards. It landed in the front part of the green and rolled to the back side. There was no way to put any backspin on it. So all in all, pretty happy with the direction and distance I got from that crappy lie. 
So here's the uh, 17th hole. Hit a good drive up there to the left. It looks like there's some guys trying to play my ball. Hopefully that's not. But uh, we'll see. Straight away, tee shot. A little bit blind, but uh, dog leg right after this, down towards the uh, the green. We'll see what we have. There's my ball right next to the cart path. Really long drive. I got probably 100 yards in to the green. It's uh, elevated and everything rebounds off to the side. There's water behind and water right. It tilts slightly from left to right. So ideally here I hit it a little bit left of the flag. Try to put a good move on it. Get myself one more shot at a birdie. A pretty good shot. Uh, a little bit short. But, uh, it's on the green at that 10, 12 feet for birdie. You can see the course is really in great shape. Beautiful, beautiful day today. Nice walk. So I made my two putts for par to the 18th hole. I think I'm, I think I'm six over on the day. So uh, that means a par for 78. That'd be good. This last hole is uh, really straight away. A little bit. I mean, it can play long, it depends on the wind, but the wind's with us today, so it should be pretty straightforward. There's water in play on the left side of the fairway. There's a little creek that runs through it, a bridge to the right, so you got to favor the right side on the tee shot. You can see the hole here, it's pretty flat. Big bunker on the left side of the green. And you can see the, the weeds coming up from the little creek to the left. Yeah, so basically left edge of the clubhouse is a good target line. So here's my, uh, my tee shot up there. Passed over the little land bridge right in the middle of the fairway. You see everything's flat. The green's flat. Uh, you can land it short and run it up or carry it all the way to the green. It's a really, really big green in the back. So try to hit something close and finish with a birdie. There's the flag in the clubhouse. You can see I pulled my, my tee shot left. I mean, my, my second shot left. So I got a little bit of work here, sick par. Got to hit a good chip. Get it close. Should be doable. Just got to focus. So I hit it, my chip, a little bit to the left. Had about 10 feet for par. Made the par putt. So I think it's a 78. I'm um, going to get a scorecard and add it up here in a second. 